Guardian, you were close to securing the last relic of Nezarek, and we near the end of our mission. I have noticed no further communications between Aramis and her crews. I hope this means the worst is behind us. I did find, however, a transmission from Aramis to Ido. It was embedded in an unsecured scribe log. You may have heard it. I do not know what Aramis gains in speaking with Ido. We know the ship stealer only acts to her own benefit. But Ido shuns me. She studies the coordinates of the pirate layers without my assistance. I have never seen her behave this way. I cannot place blame solely on Aramis's influence. My actions pushed Ido away, though I meant only to protect her. She will see that in time. She must. Unless she has already made her choice. We must end this now, before something happens that cannot be undone. Claim the final reliquary and finish this conflict. May the light provide. who you really are. So, let me get this straight. Mithrax has Aramis at the end of his sword, and then nothing? I mean, nothing? Huh. I thought that guy still had some mean in him. Guess I was wrong. I was right about you, though. Gotta hand it to you, kid. You did a hell of a job out there. Drove Aramis off? stopped whatever plan the witness had, and brought home all the pieces of Nezarek. Not bad at all. Mithrax and Ido have the relics now. Don't know what those things can actually do, but if anyone can figure it out, it'd be them. Hope it's something good. Yep, nothing for you to do now but lay back in that big old pile of pirate treasure you got. You deserve it. And don't worry about giving me my cut, Captain. It just felt nice to be a good guy again. <laughs> Trust. Baroness Kel, again, I greet you in the light. 
Not as my enemy, but as my savior. You protected me from the Lucent Hive. Without your intervention, I would have died at their hands. I thank you. I was terrified. Not only of the Hive, but of you. When you arrived, I thought it was to follow through on your threat. Then you turned and raised your blade against my assailants. But that same blade would have taken the life of my father if you'd had the advantage. I am not afraid of what you are. But I am afraid of what you do. The whirlwind led to you. It led to my father. But it led to me as well. We can see a future for the Elixni beyond the pain of the whirlwind. But you think you can't be a part of it. I do not believe that. My father spared you because he saw that you could turn from a path he had once followed. I see this also. I know the futility of this, but I will say it regardless. There is a place for you here. We need not be enemies. Come home, Aramis. May the light provide.